Hey, how are you? This is JR from Trade Skillers Anonymous. And today I just wanted to share with you something that I found over the holidays, uh, ordered for myself. This is not sponsored and uh, I, I paid for this myself, uh, is the Shaper Trace. And this is the entire contents of the package. The primary piece is this frame so that essentially anything that can fit inside this frame um, can be traced with a pen of any kind and then you use a bit of software that uh, is free to download. There's no, apparently there's no subscription, at least not for the way I'm using it. Um, and, and you can trace odd shapes inside of this thing, convert those to, as an example, an SVG. Um, and if, you, if you're like me and you have a CNC machine, but gosh, you could use it on other uh, types of artwork that uses SVG files, which there are a lot of. Um, you know, to really recreate some custom shapes. So let me just show you a little bit about uh, how that works and uh, thanks for coming along. Okay, so now in this case, all you need is just a simple piece of paper and you lay the frame over that. I have this example of an oddly shaped piece that I'm gonna cut out some uh, Kaizen foam for. This would otherwise be kind of difficult to um, make a proper SVG. You could just make a square, but it's not gonna fit really tight. So um, just real simply, you just take the pen and they supply you with one, but I have tested it with uh, just a regular pen and it does work. And just on this piece of paper, you're gonna trace around the thing that you're trying to make an SVG of. Oops, missed. Okay, and so now the next piece, you just have to scan a QR code on the back of this frame here, um, and that's gonna open up a web page that you sign into. Again, it's free, um, and it's gonna you know, want access to your camera, and what it's gonna do is you have to position the camera so that the frame uh, is within the camera's view, and just about right there, it's captured, but the neat part is I can also capture it at an odd angle, so it doesn't have to be straight up and down. You're just going to click a button and now it has captured the image and I can have it capture the whole thing or just the center line, which is gonna give me the outline that I'm looking for. Just hit a check, save as a SVG. Save to my files. Just call it shape or something. Just give it a file name so you can find it. And now when you log into your computer, wherever your CAD CAM software is, this file will be available for you to access. Okay, so as I mentioned, your camera is, your phone, uh, it's gonna capture that image with their software. And again, there was no uh, subscription required to get going with this thing. So you just log in to your PC. I'll have a little picture in picture over here of um, converting that file over into my software, which I happen to be using Vectric. Um, and it's just real simple. It's like yeah, importing any other SVG. Um, the neat thing is, is if you had oddly shaped tools or you need to replicate a part that you need to create maybe in wood or, or plastic or something else, this just looks like it'd be a great tool to do that with. And again, this is not sponsored. Um, I went and bought this thing because I thought it was interesting and have in fact found great ways to use it. So. I'm gonna put up here, here, and here, a couple of different examples from this where I am using Kaizen foam and uh, some of uh, this activity to create shapes for oddly shaped pieces. Now this happens to be for some welding equipment, but I also will show you some uh, woodworking tools. So I took some drawers uh, in my regular toolbox and committed those to some measuring and marking and you know those are the kind of tools that you don't want bumping around or getting bent or damaged so this kaizen foam was a great way to do that and this little doodad um, really made it helpful and handy as a way to not have to manually measure and account for 
every little odd shape that was in there that I just found this was super slick and thought that I would share it with you. So I hope this was helpful and I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, this is uh, right around the turn of the year. So I hope you have a great 2024. See you soon.